Hi everybody, my name is Julie and today we're going to be talking about how the information community of home gardeners uses emerging technology. Now to help me out, I've brought along with me a real life home gardener. Uh, hey guys, I'm a home gardener. You can tell because I uh, have these uh, pruners and this, um, this plant and this hat, so yep. Did you know that home gardening is considered a serious leisure activity? and that home gardeners qualify as producers or collectors. Two key information behaviors for this group are the sharing of expertise and social world building through shared information experiences. This is particularly true of home gardeners who often rely on online communities for advice and to share news of what they've been growing. Uh, so, home gardener, do you have any uh, bits of expertise to share with us? Um, yeah, sure. Did you know that if you water your plants too much, um, it'll spit the water back out at you? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not true. Yes, it is. Uh, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. Okay, well, then could you share a source for that? Hmm? Sure. So the main way that home gardeners use technology is by using the internet to form connections and community, get tips and tricks, and share their successes. So how do they do this? Well, they do it through forums and hashtags, they have pages on sites like Facebook and Twitter, and some even have YouTube channels. So, home gardener, would you like to uh, give us some examples? Treehugger.com has a list of online communities that you can join. And on Gardenstew.com, you can create a blog about your gardening experiences, you can upload pictures to create a virtual garden to share with your friends around the world, and you can even contribute to an archive of lots of information about different kinds of plants. It's just expired spinach, which is also a plant! Sites like Garden Stew fulfill two information needs of the home gardening community. They help solve problem situations by fulfilling a gap in knowledge. It's a space for people all over the world to contribute their advice and experiences. And they provide a place for community and friendships to be formed. Did you know that 73% of adults consider themselves lifelong learners? And 74% of adults are considered personal learners, meaning they seek to advance their knowledge through a variety of methods about something that personally interests them. Home gardeners are often personal learners. Uh, they use technology like the internet to find out new information about their plants or what they should plant next. They form friendships and they find out information about garden shows, how and when to visit professional gardens, or uh, even how to take gardening classes at places like their local libraries. Not to mention that gardeners use the internet to order supplies. And I, uh, I think that about wraps us up. What do you think, home gardener? How do you think it went? Eh, yeah, it could have been better. What do you mean, could have been better? This atmosphere, it really isn't uh, doing much for your complexion. Do you believe this? <laughs> I need to look at my notes. <laughs> they themselves lifelong learners, and that 74% of... Did you know that 73% of adults consider themselves lifelong learners? <laughs>